Today, we'll be going through three concepts within the GDPR, the data subject, the data controller, and the data processor. In this example, we'll be using me, the data subject, and I work for Complete IT. So I, as part of my contract of employment, will share information with them. When I pass that information to Complete IT, they become the data controller. And they can use that information for purposes we've agreed upon, such as paying me. In this example, Complete IT don't have an in-house payroll team, so they outsource it to Data Processor. Data Processor will use the data we've given them for the purposes that we've agreed, and only those purposes. So in summary, the data subject is the individual who data is we're talking about. The data controller is the entity that determines the purpose and means of processing. And finally, the data processor will process that data on behalf of the data controller, only using it for those agreed reasons. The data controller under GDPR remains responsible for protecting that data. They should know what they have, why they have it, and who they share it with. And finally, they should put technical and operational measures in place to ensure it's protected.